228 measures of rest. You gonna sit there and count that? What? 328 measures of rest. And only three triangle notes. And the whole entire first and second movement. Wagner's Chalona Sprinkles Mary Brooks. How do I know that name? Because that's right. And then I also record a bunch of hip hop and a bunch of stuff like that from huge club parties and only a couple clubs and places. It's pretty nice. Lately, I've been living on a yacht. Not joking. That's a yacht game, man. Mary's always seen me on my boat. I'm like, man, what you doing on that boat, man? When are you going to have me out? Like, come out here, man. What the hell? I be sitting there, man. This guy. Y'all don't even know how much talent you have right here. This dude played with big names before I even played with some of my big names. Because of him, there was people like, what's his face, Alan Williams and them? That dude played with Prince. Drum set player for Prince. I'm a cold percussionist, I'm a cold kid player. But now I'm Williams myself. I'm like, he can have it. Dude's cold. Only play with us, we have Marion on bass, and we have Rashard Bayham on keyboard. And uh, I ain't never heard of King Ace. Then when I did, it was like that dude was the truth. <laughs> True and through. <laughs> Rashard Bayham is now recording his album with Solange. No, yep. right now, in New York. Not to mention that, George Clinton and Scarface are doing a collab album of old schools right here off of Hillcroft and LA in the Southwest. How do I know this? Stuff? I don't know. People just call and tell me. I must not be very important. Producing tunes, playing music is a serious business. And you can take it far. And y'all are all kidding. It's all within your grasp. If you decide to go to college, I tell all my students every breath you take in college is 22 bucks. You think about it like that, you'll get up for that class. You think you're losing that $20 every minute? Get it done. I got my master's from Carnegie Mellon when I was 23 years old. I was the youngest African American getting my master's in my Ivy League at the time. I beat Barack. We didn't know who Barack was when I graduated. But, uh, I asked them if it came with money, they said no, so I didn't care. That's how efficient and forward thinking and moving I am. When it comes to music, playing this stuff, you want to win auditions, you want to get to that level. There's a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifice and a lot of time. Almost obsessive. You got to be a little crazy. And that brings me full circle. Y'all are already crazy. Y'all have been out there in this heat all summer. <laughs> are y'all for real? Y'all are like already. Y'all are already gladiators. Nobody can survive that out there. I did Marine Corps basic. I came here for one week and I passed out in my car. So kudos to y'all for that. Now, chops. Everybody knows what that word means, right? Yep, sir. Right. Chops. Chops are important. Tim is brilliant. Beyond words. That reverence looking at him. He did stuff that nobody else has done. Y'all you know Nine Inch Nails? You ever heard of that band? N-I-N, you see t-shirts about it all the time. The guy Trent Reznor, Tim Adams' first band was him, Trent Reznor, and Tom Free. <laughs> all of them are have Grammys and are superstars. Tom sits at his house in Cleveland, the Cleveland Orchestra, the best orchestra in the world. No contest. They have an endowment of $1 billion from the Rockefellers from 1890. It's been accruing interest for the last 150 years. You know how much money they got? Oh my God. When they call me the sub, I'm in there a day early. <laughs> I'm at rehearsal a day early. Like, can you show me anything? 
Cool. I got my check. Cool. Three triangle notes. Go home. Seventeen hundred dollars. Seventeen hundred dollars for three triangle notes and model three. Would you do it? Ah, yeah, you would, huh? That should sound pretty easy, huh? The problem is that triangle is the hardest instrument to play. Have y'all heard that before? You've heard that. Who told you that? Mr. Wilson. Who? Mr. Wilson, my old director. Your band director? Y'all never heard that before? Who? Cool. Everybody heard it, right? And y'all all were like, ah, why is that so hard, right? Pick up a triangle and try to play three perfect notes in the room and make them sound exactly the same. There are people that make, that make little contraptions that hold the triangle perfectly in one area where it doesn't turn. It's 150 bucks to get these little clips and stuff. And you got people like me that can't afford nothing. I just do it with my hand, the old school way. And then win the job. These jobs in orchestras, as Tim Adams would say, they've been playing the same music for 100 years. It's only the last music, last hundred years. It's orchestral music, last hundred years. All you gotta do is learn that, and you're good. When you think about it, honestly, it's about maybe like 38 pieces. <laughs> it ain't really that much. And then the least paid orchestra, let's say, somebody named a major city. That is really major. Okay, I wanna start with something small, but we can start with New York. My oh boy, what, who is that in New York? Chris Lamb? Oh, yeah, Chris Lamb. Chris Lamb. Chris Lamb is a principal percussionist in New York. He's getting $2 million a year. You said the You said New York. I said name a small little place. <laughs> he said New York, so what the hell? <laughs> you know how much it is in New York? <laughs> if you make a million dollars, I've been living in New York for 10 years. Now, I don't want to put all my financials out there in the street. Damn. You're going to spend three to four grand a month if you want a good size spot. I mean, good size. They always say you made it in New York when you ain't got no neighbors. I've been living on my yacht in New York for the last four to five years. So I'm going to They don't like me there either. <laughs> I'll be in there wrong. I don't be in there wrong, you know? I, sometimes I invite, like, like a Detroit hip hop party or something. They come to the boat and shoot a music video, and there's girls, and I didn't do all that, you know? They, they just did, you know, themselves. Making music, living life is important. I heard this guy tell me that if you just sit there and practice, and practice all day, you'll never win an audition because you haven't lived life, therefore, you're not going to know expressions, feelings, very animated. I'm very point, point when I talk. My voice is annoying. It carries. It hurts. You hear me long enough. Y'all are the future. Um, what's David Mix like? I couldn't play that one-handed role very well with this. Why? Nope. Wait. My wrist? No. Nope. Nope. You know what you know? Length of the mouth and the Oh, maybe he's on something. Here, push it. Put your hands up. Put those down. Y'all move so slow. Look at the percussion here. Hey, don't be standing up. You gotta be on it. Like, you gotta be moving. All right, here you go. Hold this. Move my hand. Just like that. Cool. Now, give it back. Now, hold this in this hand. And this hand. Here you go. Put your head here. That's what happened. These are heavier. Wait. 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 I want some typical force. So, you know, plants are spinning around, blah, 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 blah. Do you want a big, poofy, airy kind of plant like Jupiter? You know, that's a pretty big thing, but this it is all air. Or do you want, like, you know, something that's hard and solid, menacing? Something like, I don't know, mercury? It's hot. Metal, the actual mass of it is almost equal to a huge planet. So you want a heavier <coughs> planet. And then once you get that thing spinning, it's gonna hit harder than anything else, right? It's gonna hit anything, like, what's that, shot put, shot, the, the Olympic sport? 
Isn't it? Something's nah, a gun. Is it? Yeah. Which one are you talking about? You thinking a hammer throw or a shotgun? No, I think it's a shotgun. Whatever it is. So, try that again. But this time, I'm going to put these mounts right on the hand. Question. Yes, sir. Would you use the same mallets for weight or depending on what you play? Depending on what? You know what? No. Uh -uh. Wait. 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 I go with wait almost every time because when you're at an audition in the orchestra, it's always uh, blind. You can't see. Nobody can see you. Mm -hmm. They can only hear you. So if they know somebody, they go so far out the way, they put pads on the bottom of your shoes and they put red carpet up to the percussion setup on stage, so you can't send clickety-clackety signals to somebody that might be a judge. They go wow. crazy. Yeah. Like, so, if they're only hearing me, and that's why it's so hard for a black guy or a black female to get a job, because we'll make it to the finals, but at the finals, it's for me now. Yeah. Mm. And there you go, oh, where did the Negro come from? How did he make it in here? Oh my goodness. That's for real. Oh, I mean, that's real. Oh my god, he used dreadlocks? Yeah, he said dreadlocks. I just cut them off. I don't know. When I cut those off, man, you know, a minute ago. You know, that was a minute ago. Don't do that. I had it right down my back. People still talk about it. every time I play symphony with the orchestra, you see dreadlocks flying in here every time I hit it. <coughs> that screen comes down. Tim Adams told me the story. Now, he knows not a story, it's the truth. He said, when that screen comes down, Mike, you got to be 120 times better hmm. than anybody else on this thing. Okay. It's the only way. Because if you're just as good, they're going to go with the white guy and the mm -hmm. white girl. You forget about it. You got to be phenomenal. You have to be world class. That's mm -hmm. what he says. Are you a professionist or a professionalist? That means you got to know everything. Tim was an expert at everything. I come in there thinking I'm hard. I watch da da da. I study with Tom. I'm the only undergrad that ever studied with Tom Freer. Tom Freer only teaches master students. Why? Why? Does he only teach master students? You have expectations. Yeah. You have to be prepared. Yeah. Yeah. This, this dude here. Out of everything I did. And Tim Adams, no offense to Tim, Tim was a pussy guy <laughs> compared to Tom. People were mad at me, like, yo, you're supposed to study with Tom and you figure your answers. You went for your undergrad? Man, that's brutal. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just doing what I was told. Did they said when? I said when? He said, go find that dude. I found that dude and that was that. He said he wasn't going to teach me. I said, I'm here for you, nobody else. Yeah. He said, you can study one year with Bruce Golden. He's a, he's a principal of the Toledo Symphony. I don't care about press. <laughs> Came here for you. Ooh. This dude is so famous in percussion world. He has all my sticks. His own company pretty much of sticks. And mouths. And Tiffany mouths. And this is where I'm going with. The greatest Tiffany that ever lived. Tiffany Fred that ever lived. There was two. There was number one and number two. Huh, big first. Big first? Who's Big Bird? You don't make them, girl. <laughs> Come on. And first of all, he did. <laughs> he just died. He gets that later. Big Bird, all of your sticks, probably about 80% of them. Mm -hmm. Them Ralphies, ain't they Big Bird? Mm -hmm. I don't know what, I know what you do. I know what <laughs> That Big Bird, yeah, I already know that. So, Big, Big is the principal tip of this in the Boston Pop Symphony Orchestra. Boston. Now he made it good. He made it over a mill. And he got a stick company. I will never forget Big Fur dying. It was huge. I have a picture with Big Fur. I met him twice. He knows me by name. It was an honor. It was pretty easy because I was the only Negro in the damn whole entire awesome. <laughs> so, you know, you gotta say what's going on. You know what I'm saying? From Texas. <laughs> Texas, you live in Red, but it's not what you want. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Big Bird, he, he put me in with Bob Van Sice, they wanted me to go to Yale. I was like, yo, man, I got to go kill Tom. They're like, Tom, they're going to teach you. I was like, you going to teach me. 
Vic, yeah. Everybody waited for Vic to die. In the orchestra, once you get a job, and then, sorry y'all are standing up, I am too. Once you get a job in the orchestra, you have it for life. Life! So what are we doing? What are we watching? Shepherd School of Music is no joke. You got a bad mother. Shut your own mouth right there. All right? Do a double short pro as fast as you can. You can start smoking one more month. speed at all. 
back to what Tom used to always say. You let the stick do all the work for you. All of it. All you're doing is getting it started. Do this again. So like, you got your fingers flat against each other very good. She is going to be a tip And then flick it forward, don't hit me in the face. Now, did y'all feel all that energy at the end of that stick? Did y'all feel the energy like shaking your hand once it stopped? That's the energy you want to take advantage of. You know? You don't have to do the drop in the tens now. So you want to take advantage of that energy. That flick is what's going to give you the chops. So what I do is I start with my pinky finger. Every time I play something, I start from the back. I'm always thinking about the pinky and I start from the back. You can also practice doing this. With these two fingers off. And that way. You don't have accuracy because you don't have this on, but it's a good way to practice, okay? Y'all just want to work on doing your flicks. I'm going to be talking a lot of information. I'm trying to give you all of this stuff as fast as I can. Tim Adams was the only black instructor after 25 years at Carnegie Mellon and the only African-American ever featured on the Mr. Rogers show. Hello? Y'all know who Mr. Rogers is, don't y'all? Yes. He don't even, he don't even y'all time right now. Everybody worships that guy like he is America. And our only representation on that show was Tim Adams. Mr. Rogers show is also shot from the Carnegie Mellon campus. But I digress. When I graduated with my master's from Carnegie Mellon, Tim quit. He said, after 25 years of teaching there, I was his only black student. After 25 years, he was the only, I was his only black student. I put a whole bunch of weight on me. I didn't care. I was like, whatever. I'm here to take everything. But what I wasn't expecting was him to quit. He quit. He's like, I'm tired of being harassed. I'm tired of being made fun of. He's really skinny. They call him like all types of names in the orchestra, even though he played there for 20, 25 years. Call him alcoholic. <coughs> call him crackhead. Call him all types of stuff. Just, just stereotypical black stuff. And after 25 years of representing for us and getting beat up, but he finally got his only black student that made it through the ranks. I survived Tom Freer. Huh. And I ended up there. And he quit. He quit Carnegie Mellon and he quit the Pittsburgh Symphony. And I said, what you going to do, Tim? He's like, I'm going to go back and go teach my brothers and sisters. So where is he at now? Oh, what was that college we said earlier today? First college we said. University of Georgia. He went to Georgia. So if y'all want to study with Tim, go to the University of Georgia when you get out of here. Okay? And you'll find them like a Shaolin monk. But I warn you, <laughs> you better come correct all the way. That dude will, he'll mess you up too. Connected to the mallet. I went to my ex fiance at the time. I was like, girl, look at this. And I hold my hand upside down, it was just hanging from my hand. You didn't like that. <laughs> That's how much you practice. Intervals. Intervals are important because you end up playing pieces like. Uh, Why did I play 
play on the outside of this? Anybody know? Because if I play it on the string, it sounds like this. That sounds like crap, right? Sounds good. This sounds good too. On the edge. So when you guys are playing it, put your chromatic black keys, whatever you want to call them. You have to play on the edge sometimes. And the final example I was going to do for you guys on marimba is, oh, it's in this video. But the hardest thing that everybody wants to play or tries to play is Bach. 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 Bach is the hardest stuff ever. It is hard. And if you miss a note on Bach, everybody knows. I get flown all over the world to play Bach at people's weddings, especially high-end weddings or mayoral inaugurations or something like that. They all want to see the Negro that can play Bach. With little sticks in his hand, treat me like a little monkey show or something. They put me on stage with a plexiglass on and wheel me out, play and dance for all the people, and wheel me out. Hopefully one day they'll change. They actually start treating us better. But I'll take the check for now, yeah? Bach is a pain in the butt, because your intervals are now. You can hear every note that you miss. Right? I'll say you got four notes all over the place. That stuff can get rough on you. Y'all just got it? It's the brand new one. They trying to mess with y'all. They, they must not care about you. I told y'all. You called it. it cause I can't, do you saw those interviews? You see my hands? You know where they go. And I'm like, this ain't quite right. Right. Just bowing down a little bit like that. And it means they have to adjust. Yep, change the field. They have to change everything. Everything. Um, just fine. I used to practice at having two friends do what? And one stand on that side, one stand on this side, and shake the mark! Shake wow. the marimba while I play. <laughs> Just to make sure that I knew my intervals, I knew my notes. No matter what happened, no matter if the, if the marimba fell, the xylophone fell, I would still be playing the notes. Excuse me. Yes, sir. You need some real quick? Okay. Now go over there. 